Hey, I chose the right shirt for today to hash busy. Learn Excel from Mr. Excel Podcast, episode 2341. Wolfram Alpha Data Types in Excel, the first look. Hey, welcome back to the Mr. Excel Netcast. I'm Bill Gillen. Some exciting new things that debuted today. We've had stocks and geography data types for over a year, but a whole bunch of new items, chemistry, elements, space, satellites. It's crazy how much new stuff they have. Now, first, the bad news. It is a hassle to get this. It's actually been out for a couple of weeks, and I couldn't get it on any machine. You need Office 365, Home, or Student, which I had. But never having signed into that computer on with Pro Plus ever, that was the one that killed me. Finally found a link, which I'm going to put in the YouTube description below for the exorcism instructions. Office Insiders, beta channel, and lucky 50%. Now, just beyond the new data types, the exciting new things that we have, a data type can now return an array of values, which is awesome. Two new functions that we're hardly ever going to use, array to text and value to text. Uh, a data type can now return another data type or be used in data validation. And data types can return images, although they fit in the size of a cell, so you're going to have to resize the cell to make it work. All right, let's just give it a try. I have a list of uh, some of my favorite movies here. Uh, and I'm going to go up to data, and they have a category for movie. All right, so I choose movie, and it's going to go out to the Internet and try and figure out what I'm talking about. And movies, unfortunately, uh, there's a lot of ambiguity in these, so we're going to get some that we're going to have to go through and select. All right, so they say they don't know the Blues Brothers, so over here, the Blues Brothers or the sequel in 2000. Of course, the original, that is the one. Ocean's Eleven, the one from the 1930s or 40s, which, by the way, is on TCM this weekend, or... Uh, this one, the new one with uh, uh, George Clooney, Footloose, the original, and Dirty Dancing, yes, the original. Oh, and Caddyshack or Caddyshack 2, Clerks, and Titanic, Men in Black, the original. All right, there we go. Now, uh, let's uh, add movie title up here. And these always work better as tables, so Control-T to format as tables. That allows us to add... Uh, new fields. And so we have all kinds of things like what's the genre? Uh, we can get uh, what's the rating? We can get the runtime. You know, these are the kinds of things that you would expect that you could get from the old geography data types or things like that. But they also offer things that have multiple items. For example, cast and roles. All right. And what happens here is I get Tom Cruise as Joel Goodson, Rebecca De Mornay as Lana, uh, and so on. And take a look at this. They automatically wrap this in array to text. Brand new function. Takes an array of values, puts them into a single cell with commas in between, uh, ignoring errors, I believe. And then value to text would do the same thing with values. These are actually in your office insiders right now, whether you're home or enterprise. Um, and we looked at that and said, well, what's that for? Oh, it's for this. All right, here, let's do one more. We're going to add the image. Look at that, all those hash busy errors there as it downloads those images. The hassle, of course, is they are too small. All right, so rather than do data types like you've been doing in the past, uh, where you put all the geographies and just copy it down, I think the better way to do this uh, is to kind of build a dashboard for a single item. Right, so here's the same list of movies over here. I did data validation, I'll DL, set a list based on that source, uh, click OK. And now I can choose from the list. All right, so we'll come in here and choose Men in Black. All right, and instantly it goes out. This field is F4.image and H6.image. All right, so F4 is the item that I chose. F4.image is the movie poster. And then down here, this is awesome. This is this is F4 dot cast and rolls without being wrapped in the array to text function, and it spills like any other dynamic array would spill, which is awesome. Okay. Then I have Will Smith, uh, who is the top item. So I come over here and say equal F6 dot cast, which converts it to a person. Once I've converted it to a person, then I can do F H6 dot full name. All right. So this cascading idea where we're taking the movie, getting the cast getting the person, getting information about the person, and then here, notable film appearances, gives me a list of all the film appearances, but not in any particular order that I can tell. 
All right. So here I have um, H9 hash of the box office total receipts. That gets those receipts for the entire array. If there were any errors, then I get a comma zero. And then over here, a sort by function, one of the new dynamic array functions that sorts the array in H9 by the box office in I9 in descending order. And so then I get uh, Will Smith's movie appearances high to low based on US box office. And this all works perfectly. So right up here, if I choose a different movie, Ocean's Eleven, get the movie poster, get all these busy errors, the shirts down on the merch shelf, feel free. I mean, we're all busy, right? I get it, Excel. You'll eventually get to it. Uh, George Clooney. And then there are all of George Clooney's movies sorted by box office over there. This is pretty, pretty cool. And actually, I could spend uh, three months going through all of the different items that they have. Uh, movies, artists, science, rockets. Why didn't I do rockets? Good question. Uh, so take a look at this list. If there's anything here you want to see, uh, shoot me a note down in the YouTube comments below, and I'll try and uh, create something unique for you. So these brand new Wolfram Alpha data types, uh, the hassles, you have to be on a home or a student, never signed in using Pro Plus. Um, I had plenty of computers that have the home home or student, uh, but at some point along the way, I signed in on Pro Plus. I finally found that link, uh, how to get rid of that Pro Plus account. Can't do it in the interface. It's tough to do. All right. Well, hey, I want to thank you for watching. Please, down below, click like, subscribe, and ring that bell. Feel free to post any questions or comments down in the comments below. My new book, Mr. Excel 2020, Seeing Excel Clearly, click the I in the top right-hand corner for more information about that book. Well, these are pretty exciting, the new Wolfram Alpha data types. Uh, equally exciting is the fact that data types can now do more things. Remember, there's still a goal that hopefully someday we'll be able to put our data into the data types uh, and just think that now we can return arrays and images and all kinds of great things like that. I want to thank you for stopping by. We'll see you next time for another netcast from Mr. Excel. Tips and tricks get your spreadsheet fixed at mrexcel.com.